Pluto is a far-off and furtive, more unassuming planet that was once a piece of our close-by planetary gathering. However, recent upsetting declarations by leading astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have brought Pluto back into the spotlight with a stunning revelation. They proposed that this cold world is on a potential impact course with Neptune. But how could this actually work? And what might be the consequences of such a huge event? Are we seeing a beguiling cosmic eccentricity? Or is there something else to this impending perpetual mishap? Join us as we look at the possible consequences of a Pluto-Neptune collision. Pluto, a past planet that was downgraded to a dwarf planet, remains a subject of interest and study in the vast universe. As shown by recent conjectures by leading experts, Pluto's orbit is hazardously near Neptune's. Astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are both raising the alarm about a potential perilous crash between these two planets, which could pose a gigantic risk to Earth. But how is such an event even conceivable? Pluto's excursion around the Sun is unlike that of any other planet in our solar system. It requires a stunning 248 years to complete a single orbit. Since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't even completed one full revolution. However, the interest doesn't stop there. Pluto's orbit is marked by its especially circular shape, meandering widely from the almost round orbits of the major planets. What makes Pluto's orbit much more remarkable is its tilt, which is 17 tenders to the ecliptic plane. The manner in which Pluto follows its path is considerably more tilted compared to other planets. This inclination and erraticism add layers of complexity to its orbital plan. Quite possibly, one of the most interesting aspects of Pluto's orbit is its intersection with Neptune's. For about 20 years in each orbit, Pluto actually draws closer to the Sun than Neptune, challenging what we could anticipate from their positions in the planetary system. This prompts the normal question, why hasn't Pluto crashed into Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational impacts of other planets. The investigation of Pluto's orbit began soon after its discovery. Initially, astronomers attempted to figure out its unique path, unlike other planets whose orbits lie somewhat near. The ecliptic plane, Pluto's orbit stands out with its steep inclination and eccentric shape. The mystery grew with the realization that Pluto's orbit does indeed cross Neptune's. The stability of Pluto's orbit amid these complexities is proof of the intricacies of celestial mechanics. The three-body problem in space involves determining how three objects in space, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, move and influence each other with their gravity. It's like trying to predict where they will go based on where they started and how they pull on each other. For Pluto's case, this problem shows how its orbit, Neptune's orbit, and the Sun's gravity all work together in a complex manner. The terms asynchronous libration, orbital precession, and the vexil oscillation are significant for this riddle. As indicated by astrophysicists, what keeps all planets in their orbits is asynchronous libration. Regarding Pluto and Neptune, this term means that whenever Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it is positioned at least 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial separation is crucial in preventing their orbits from meeting. Orbital precession, on the other hand, refers to the upward movement of a body in its orbit. For Pluto, this means that when it comes closest to Neptune or any other giant planet, it is positioned far above their orbital plane, providing an extra layer of protection from potential impacts. Another critical factor in this situation is the Vexil Oscillation, named after three scientists, Zell and Kai, who studied how objects move in space. It involves the way three space objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, pull on one another with their gravity. This pulling influences how they move. For Pluto's case, the Vexil Oscillation helps us understand why its orbit near the Sun is so strange. Regardless of Pluto's path appearing to be whimsical, this oscillation helps keep it moving smoothly over long stretches. 
The Vexel oscillation shows that, although things in space seem tumultuous and unpredictable, capable patterns and rules keep everything together. These factors help maintain Pluto's orbit stable, ensuring that it doesn't. Slam into Neptune or stray off course. This three-body problem is pivotal in understanding how these orbits change due to the way space objects pull on each other. Studying this helps us learn more about Pluto, our solar system, and even distant worlds and their stars. Mathematical. Simulations in the late 1980s revealed that, despite these stabilizing properties, Pluto's orbit is actually unpredictable, with minor deviations in initial conditions leading to significant differences over millennia. However, these unusual properties of Pluto's orbit have been found to maintain stability over extraordinarily long time scales. Monitoring the disturbance from later automatic investigations has helped us understand how the giant planets like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn impact Pluto's orbit around the Sun. Neptune has a special relationship with Pluto, where for every two orbits Pluto makes around the Sun, Neptune makes three. This relationship helps keep Pluto's orbit stable. However, Neptune isn't the only one at work. Jupiter's gravity also plays a huge role in stabilizing Pluto's orbit. Saturn also contributes. These studies show that Jupiter's immense gravity is strong enough to ensure Pluto stays on a steady path for a long time, potentially even for millions of years. So perhaps Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn are working together to ensure Pluto continues to move safely through space without running into trouble. These peculiarities are fundamental for keeping everything under control and safe in space. Without these mechanisms, the solar system, as we know it, would be a much more violent place. Bodies like Pluto could crash into others or be ejected from their stable orbits, triggering a chain reaction with other celestial bodies, for Pluto especially. With discussions about it possibly crashing into Neptune in the future, understanding its orbit is crucial. This gives a clearer picture of the dynamic nature of the nearby planetary system. The case of Pluto shows how even the most apparently unstable orbits can come to a state of equilibrium through the complex collaboration of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. It also illustrates the importance of continuous observation and study of these phenomena to better understand our place in the universe. Investigating the depths of space often leads us to confront the odd nature of celestial bodies. And Pluto's orbit is an ideal representation of this unusualness. The concept of orbital chaos, which refers to the delicate dependence of a celestial body's orbit on its initial conditions, is clearly illustrated in Pluto's case. This means that even slight changes in the dwarf planet's position or speed can significantly alter its long-term orbit. Using automated simulations has been hugely helpful for researchers in figuring out how Pluto moves in space. These simulations use complex mathematics to model how Pluto and other space objects like Neptune pull on each other. By tweaking small details in the simulations, space scientists can see how even tiny changes can make a huge difference in where Pluto ends up. In the late 1980s, these simulations showed something fascinating about Pluto's orbit. Even though it has elements like asynchronous libration and orbital precession to keep it stable, its orbit can still be erratic and unusual. If you start with just a small difference in where Pluto is or how fast it's moving, its orbit could end up looking completely different after just a few years. Yet despite this chaos, Pluto's orbit remains stable over significant time frames, like billions of years. This actually means that Pluto's journey around the Sun has a sort of order to it, even though it seems tumultuous at first. Predicting celestial events, especially when they involve irregular orbits like Pluto's, is a huge challenge. The inherent unpredictability of these systems means that long-term predictions are often filled with uncertainties. While mathematical models provide great tools for understanding and predicting the future movements of celestial bodies, they also highlight the limits of our predictive abilities. These models heavily rely on the accuracy of initial conditions, and any small error or distortion can lead to drastically different outcomes you're making precise predictions a daunting task. 
Besides, the chaotic nature of planetary orbits like Pluto's reminds us of the ever-changing and dynamic nature of the universe. While we've made enormous strides in understanding space, Pluto's case reminds us of how much our knowledge of the universe still remains limited. Grasping the gravitational impacts of the giant planets on Pluto's orbit provides valuable insights into the broader dynamics of the solar system. It shows how the presence and position of each planet can profoundly influence the stability and course of other bodies within the system. So, why are leading astrophysicists lately raising concerns about a possible crash between Pluto and Neptune? Despite all these complex forces trying to keep such an event from occurring, Neil deGrasse Tyson, a prominent astrophysicist and a significant figure in promoting cosmology, offers a unique perspective on the mysteries of our solar system, especially the intriguing case of Pluto. Tyson, known for his role in renaming Pluto from a planet to a dwarf planet, offers insightful analysis on the evolving nature of celestial mechanics and the public's interest in the overlooked domains of SPACs. Expanding the boundaries of cosmic understanding, the mystery remains. Could Pluto collide with Neptune in the future? Perhaps it's not a worry today, but we need to keep studying and using those mathematical tools and simulations to stay ahead of the curve for the future of our solar system's stability. As we continue exploring the potential for Pluto's orbit to collide with Neptune in the future, it's important to recognize the complex and delicate balance that exists within our solar system. The interactions between the planets and their gravitational influence on one another provide a fascinating framework that keeps our celestial neighbors in their respective orbits. Even though the odds of a collision between Pluto and Neptune are astronomically low, the possibility still sparks interest because it exemplifies the intricate dance of gravitational forces at play. The research into the long-term behavior of Pluto's orbit, aided by simulations and astronomical observations, continues to reveal surprising insights. These studies show that Pluto's orbit, though chaotic at first glance, is influenced by the gravitational interactions with Neptune and other planets, particularly the gas giants. The result is a subtle but remarkable stability that ensures Pluto avoids a catastrophic collision with Neptune. This dynamic relationship between Pluto and Neptune is known as a resonance. As mentioned earlier, for every two orbits that Pluto makes around the Sun, Neptune completes three. This resonance prevents them from coming into contact because it effectively locks their orbits in a way that they never cross paths. This gravitational Dance is a product of orbital mechanics, which seems to have led to an orbital equilibrium between the two. Despite this resonance, the future of Pluto's orbit is not entirely without uncertainty. While it remains stable over long time frames, this stability is contingent upon the conditions not changing significantly. Astronomers are well aware that the behavior of objects in space is heavily dependent on initial conditions. As the solar, System evolves changes in the positions or movements of planets, particularly large ones like Jupiter or Saturn, could have an impact on Pluto's orbit. This means that, while a collision with Neptune may be unlikely today, it is not completely ruled out in the distant future. Moreover, the study of other distant objects in the Kuiper Belt, a region beyond Neptune where Pluto resides, helps to broaden our understanding of Pluto's orbit. Many other objects in this belt exhibit highly eccentric orbits, some of which intersect with Neptune's orbit as well. The dynamics of the Kuiper Belt are still not fully understood, and more discoveries in this region could reveal new gravitational forces and interactions that might influence Pluto's orbit. In addition to these orbital mechanics, the behavior of the Sun and its long-term evolution also plays a crucial role in the stability of the solar system. As the sun ages, it will undergo significant changes, eventually expanding into a red giant in approximately 5 billion years. This expansion will cause dramatic shifts in the orbits of the inner planets, potentially destabilizing the orbits of outer planets like Neptune and Pluto. The gravitational forces exerted by a larger, more massive sun could dramatically alter the entire structure of the solar system. While this distant future is still far off, 
Understanding how Pluto and Neptune interact today can provide crucial insights into how the solar system may evolve over time. The stability of Pluto's orbit and the resonance with Neptune are a testament to the fine-tuning of cosmic forces that have allowed the solar system to remain relatively stable for billions of years. It is a reminder of how dynamic and interconnected the universe is, where even the smallest changes in gravitational forces can lead to significant shifts in the paths of celestial bodies. This ongoing research into the orbits of distant planets and objects like Pluto highlights how much there is still to learn about our solar system. Despite the apparent chaos and unpredictability of these distant bodies, scientists have developed sophisticated models and simulations that allow them to make surprisingly accurate predictions about their behavior over time. These models, while not perfect, offer valuable insights into the complex gravitational interactions that govern the motion of planets and other celestial bodies. In addition to the scientific importance of studying Pluto's orbit, there is a broader cultural and philosophical significance. The debate over whether Pluto should be considered a planet or a dwarf planet reflects a larger question about how we define and categorize objects in the universe. The reclassification of Pluto by the International Astronomical Union, IAU, in 2006 sparked controversy, but it also provided an opportunity to rethink how we understand the diversity of objects in our solar system and beyond. The study of Pluto and its interactions with Neptune invites us to reconsider our place in the universe and the ever-changing nature of the cosmos. Astrophysicists like Neil deGrasse Tyson have embraced this shift in perspective, emphasizing the importance of curiosity and exploration in our quest to understand the universe. Tyson's role in bringing attention to Pluto's reclassification and his promotion of scientific literacy has inspired many to appreciate the complexity and wonder of our solar system. For Tyson, the story of Pluto is not just about the dwarf planet itself, but about how we learn and grow as a species in our understanding of the universe. This evolving understanding of Pluto's role in the solar system, along with the possibility of future events that may affect its orbit, illustrates the dynamic nature of our knowledge. We are continuously discovering new facts and refining our models, and as we do, our view of the universe becomes more nuanced and sophisticated. The potential for a Pluto-Neptune collision, while unlikely, serves as a reminder of the complexity and beauty of the universe and the need for continuous exploration and study. In conclusion, the case of Pluto's orbit and its resonance with Neptune is a remarkable example of how gravitational forces and orbital mechanics work together to create a stable, albeit dynamic, solar system. The unlikely collision between these two distant bodies serves as a symbol of the incredible precision and complexity of the universe. As our understanding of space continues to evolve, the study of Pluto and other distant objects will continue to captivate scientists and the public alike. While the future of Pluto's orbit remains uncertain, one thing is clear. Our fascination with the mysteries of the cosmos will persist, driving us to uncover more about the universe in which we live.